From their affectionate nature to their fierce protection instincts, this large breed isn't one you should bring into your home without being thoroughly educated. In today's video, we're going to cover all of the basics of the incredible German Shepherd. Welcome back to the German Shepherd Show. If this is your first time here, my name's De Vojo. I'm a canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the German Shepherd. Then, how to become high-level canine leaders that can raise perfect German Shepherds. So, if you're a lifelong German Shepherd lover, thinking about getting one, or just started your journey with your new German Shepherd, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future German Shepherd video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll introduce you to the key breed facts you should know before considering a German Shepherd. Since their widespread use in World War II, the German Shepherd has been one of the most popular breeds in the US and Europe. Much of this popularity is thanks to their success as police and military working canines that excel at everything from chasing down criminals to detecting bombs to finding people in building wreckage. These high achieving canines are favorites in homes around the world that don't need all that impressive skill but just want a loyal guardian too. They are an all around impressive breed. It's easy to see why they have such a dedicated fan base and continue to rank so highly. The breed popularity has remained high in various club rankings for decades. Today, the German Shepherd is ranked second out of breeds by the American Kennel Club and part of the herding group. Keep in mind that while they are an exceptional breed, they are best for experienced canine leaders that are calm and consistent with boundaries. German Shepherds need two or more hours of exercise each day and even more when they are young, so be prepared for that commitment. They also don't do well alone for long periods of time where their boredom can quickly turn destructive, so make sure you watch my other videos on these gorgeous dogs before bringing one into your home. Now let's get into the size of these massive dogs because make no mistake, even the smallest are still pretty big. The AKC standards dictate that male German Shepherds stand between 24 to 26 inches at the withers, while females can be slightly smaller and range from 22 to 24 inches tall. The KC standards dictate that male German Shepherds ideally stand at 25 inches at the withers, while females can be slightly smaller and stand at 23 inches tall. This variation between UK and US standards is common and many breeds are somewhat larger in the US than their UK cousins but their ranges overlap here. The AKC standards dictate that a German Shepherd weight should be proportional to their height with males weighing between 65 to 90 pounds and females weighing between 50 to 70 pounds. The KC breed standard doesn't list a weight range, but it's safe to say that it will be close to the AKC parameters that are proportional to the breed. They are a lean and powerful muscled breed, so they need plenty of low impact exercises every day along with a high quality diet. I suggest the raw diet and have a course that goes over everything you need to know when considering and transitioning to a raw diet for your canine's health and longevity. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to ask, are you following us over on Instagram? If you're not, there's two accounts I would love for you to check out. The first one is our brand account, at Femria Canine Leaders, where you can see more about our industry leading products that we create. If you're interested in following me personally, that's at I am Will Afferton, where you can see behind the scenes of me working with some of the most extreme behavior cases in the world and what it takes to run these kind of YouTube channels. And maybe if you just want to be able to come over and chat with me, that's the place for you. So there'll be links down in the description box for both of our Instagram pages. I'd love for you to come and check them out and hopefully we'll chat over there. The most common health tests relate to hip and elbow dysplasia, which are quite common in German Shepherds and many other large breed dogs. You may also want to screen for heart defects, though they can be hard to test accurately for depending on potential condition and severity. Because of their size, you'll find that any health issues they do have, and even routine vet visits, can cost more, so quality pet insurance would be a wise investment to consider as well. 
Also, be on the lookout for poorly bred canines if you are looking to do any kind of vigorous activity with them. There has been a trend over the last handful of years where breeders were striving for a very exaggerated drop from their shoulder to their hip and this greatly increases joint issues. The trend seems to have fallen out of fashion, thank goodness, but it will still take some years before those lines are restored to a more natural conformation. You can expect to pay $500 to $3,000 for a well-bred German Shepherd from a quality breeder, but you'll find them outside of that range as well, depending on your location, the pedigree, and their registration status. Keep in mind that you'll likely need to invest in training, high quality food, pet insurance, heartworm medication, and other things that tend to be more expensive given their size. Getting your new German Shepherd will be the lowest cost, so be prepared for the ongoing expenses. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button. Get involved down in the comment section below. And don't forget that if you are new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated German Shepherd videos coming out every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the German Shepherd Show.